Today we're going to talk about blueprints and floor plans. We've talked a little bit about how important it is to plan when you're making a big project. And buildings are some of the biggest projects people can make, so it's important to have a blueprint. Blueprints are plans for a building that show where the walls and the doors and the windows will be. They show it from multiple sides, like the front and the back the left side and the right side. Notice they also have numbers on them to show how big certain parts will be. They have a scale here. One eighth of an inch on this blueprint equals one foot in real life. Some of the blueprints are from the top down and they're called floor plans. See, this is as if you took the roof off, like if you're a huge giant and you took the roof off the building, then you could see inside from the top. You can see here's a fireplace. These are windows. Here's a door. Here's some counters. These lines here represent stairs. And all these lines represent walls. So you can see doors and windows and walls in this blueprint. But some blueprints show where the electrical parts of the house will be. These little circles with the lines around them mean a light. This one means a light and a fan. And you see these lines? These lines show where it's connected to a switch on the wall. All these S's are for switch. This line with the two circles is an electrical outlet where you can plug stuff in. So when the electrician gets this plan, he or she knows exactly where to run the electrical wires and where to put the lights and things like that. Here's a floor plan of a bedroom. On this floor plan, one square equals one foot. So we know how much space all this furniture will take up. Hmm. Just like on the other floor plan, we have windows, we have doors, and this door here is going into this closet. We can tell how big the room is by counting the squares. Hmm, let's count them this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Since one square equals one foot, it's about ten feet this way. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. About twelve feet this way. Now, maybe you're wondering why a door has this round shape here. These arcs show the path that the door will take when it's opening and closing, because you don't want anything to be in the way of the door. And so if we keep this area clear, our doors will be able to open and close. Now, the rectangles around each of these pieces of furniture show how big they are. So if we cut this right here on these lines, we could put it up here and just to decide where it will go. Your challenge for today is to print one of these out, cut out the furniture that you want to use. You might only need one bed or one dresser or one chair, so, but you decide which one you want to use, and you arrange it in this room however you want. Maybe you want your bed by the window so you can look out and see the sun when you wake up, or maybe you want a big desk because you like to draw. Maybe you want a lot of shelves because you have a collection you want to display. It's up to you, but keep in mind that you need room to walk through your doors and walk in between all the furniture. If you can't print one of these out or you want to make a floor plan of your own room instead, there's a link to some plain graph paper, or you could just draw it on regular paper. If you want to make it to scale, you might need to measure some things at your house to see how much space they take up. You can use squares, or a ruler to make your drawing to scale. Just make one square or maybe one centimeter equal one foot or one meter. You don't have to just use the furniture that I put on the paper. You could draw on your own furniture. You could even draw on something crazy like a water slide or a ball pit or a giant beanbag chair. And make it however you want. Uh, maybe we won't use these floor plans to do anything in real life, but someday you might need to use a floor plan like this to arrange a room and you will know how. So Double Eagle, I hope you will stay safe, have fun, and keep building.